Papi. But more impressive than that, perhaps, is the girth. I mean, this is an incredibly thick bodied snake. Long ass fucking time ago in a land called Girthy You lived a YouTuber. He was girthy through and through. He was a black sheep of the community, but he knows just what to do. His name was Goldtooth, and he was girthy all the time. Going to the bingo just to lick the giant. Used to buy some nipples so the planets would align. Yo, how is everybody doing? Safe? Sexy? Ooh, you know it. You know how we roll on this channel. It's Goldtooth. Welcome to Goldtooth Gaming. Now, today I've been to Kenny's Buy, Sell and Trade at Dinnington near Sheffield. What a shop. Yeah. Well, the reason why I went, I'd seen he got something on Instagram and I'm like, I need it. So I rung him up the day before and said, look, Kenny. I says, have you still got it? He's like, right, I have. You want me to save it, yeah? I said, I'll tell you what, I'll play life on the edge. Don't save it. I'll come tomorrow. It's a little bit of a surprise if it's gone. Anyway, it was still there. So that's all good. I've got some games from a few other places. Ain't too many today. But there's some ones that I wanted. So that's kind of cool, you know. But yeah, let's get into it. Well, before I get into it, let me tell you about the day that I've had. It's been absolutely terrible. So coming back from Kenny's, you come to a roundabout, there's two lanes, right? There's only two exits off. So if you ain't left down lane, you've got to do a left, but it's near enough straight on. Right, you're going right. I'm at right and lane, sitting off from roundabout, same time as this guy. Okay, now he must have missed me car like that. I'm fucking slamming on, I'm slamming on to try and avoid him. Anyway, window were down. Little one were in the car, little one taught me a life lesson, which, yeah, it's not surprising, you know. But yeah, I'm like, fucking hell, bang it on, boop, boop, boop. I said, I'll fucking twist your head off, dickhead. Anyway, little one says, don't do that. I says, what? He says, twist his head off. I'm like, why? And he says, because police will see you, police will take you. How are we going to get home? I says, well, police can take you. And he's like, no, no. I says, well, what would you do? If you were driving it with your car, I'd just smash his car up a little bit more. And I thought about it and I thought, not a bad idea. So life lessons from a seven-year-old. Anyway, it does get worse. So my wife got a new car. It's done about... 50 miles, if that. Only broke down on the motorway. Oh dear. It was me and her outside at fucking lay by. And it was kind of like, no, oh, kind of like weird weather. And it was like darkish and there was something outside of me. I'm like, because I was pissed off already. Like, what the fuck's that? You need a kick. Dead pigeon, which were fucking size of a chicken. I shit you not. Anyway, we're going to find out what's happening with car, but what a fucking farce, man. But we're here. We're here to live to tell the tale. So now I can get on with pickups. Now, the first one, I've been after this for a while. Yeah. I've been after this for a while, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Hmm. Maybe not on this one, for the next one, yeah. So we've got Universal Soldier for the Sega Mega Drive. It's in a cardboard box, this one. Now, I played this back in the day when we used to have it at a shop. It was PAL, so obviously it wasn't for me. Um, but yeah, it's based off Turrican 2. It's just reskinned. Actually, it's in the back. Based on the blockbuster movie starring John claude Van Gerfie, your mam, and Dolph fucking Cam Lundgren. <laughs> or something like that. And yet it is a decent game. Um... It would be a bit weird to have stuck some in cardboard boxes. But yeah, it's all complete and it is all decent because I've seen some really scratchy ones at my times. And yeah, Universal Soldier. Oh, people, is it true? And why was it that in near enough every Van Damme film he got his fucking ass all out? Shower scene, ass out. He could have been riding a bike, fucking ass up in air, ass out. You know what I mean? You could be mowing somebody's lawn. Arse out. 
I don't know if he got a contract where he had to show bad ass. Who knows? Do you know? I'm not sure. Right. Now I have to do a sniff test on this next one. So what I'll do, I'll do a sniff test. I'll tell you what I think it smells like. And then before I show it, see if you can guess. Fucking hell. It smells like sweat and very small penises. Any ideas? Royal Rumble. Ooh. I mean, look at Poe's on that. It looks like a fully cooked chicken. What is going on, people? Fucking men in tight trunks. Get the fuck out of here. I've got to say, though, Macho Man Randy Savage, though. Ooh, Elizabeth. Can you dig it? Fucking proper dude. But yeah, I did used to like them old wrestling games. They were a bit of fun. You know, arcade style ones. And we start to look more real. Yeah, the one for me, because I want a wrestling fan. And you know why, people? Men in shorts. Well, not even shorts, have they? They're like fucking even smaller than underpants. So, Royal Rumble. Oh. The next one is a Japanese one. And it's by Namco again. Mm. Is it true? It fucking is true. Hells yeah. We've got a fucking wrestle ball. Oh. Yeah, this ring light's not doing my fucking finest job, but. I don't know why I like showing you Japanese ones inside, because you know everything's boxed and complete. But yeah, I'm not tripping. I'm sure that wasn't available in the UK, unless it was a total different name. But I, if it is, I don't know about it. But yeah, Wrestle Ball. That's what fucking Brenda does to me, fucking wrestle me balls. Oh, fucking quick, fucking, yeah, oh, you know it. Yeah, I'll do a uh, sniff test on this next one. This next one is the one that I got from Kenny's. And if you can guess before I show it. Fucking hell. Smells like fucking garlic and baguettes. Any guesses, people? I'll give you another little guess. Have you seen that tin? I know what you're thinking, what tin? That tin, that ring tin tin shitting. It is tin tin, oh Tibet. Yeah, so that's from Kenny's and the condition is like new. Like seriously. Now it says French, but on back it's got French, English, German, and whatever the fuck that is. So yeah, I've got Genesis games for him, I've got Japanese games for him, I've got English. So it's not like I'm going for any strict set or whatever. But yeah, I was absolutely buzzing when he saw it got that in Kenny's. I'm like, ooh, is it true, people? It's true. So yeah, there's only one more game. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a giveaway. This time, on the next video, and the video after that. So this week, or this video, how are you going to win is for a certain type of people, the next one's for a different type of people, the third one is. So this first one is for anybody from the UK who's got a YouTube channel. If they share this video, we'll be putting a wheel to see if I get one of the Gold Tooth Gaming mugs. So if you've got a UK YouTube uh, channel, if you share my video, you'll be putting a wheel to see if I'll send you one of those. Now, the second week is going to be people that are in the girth gang. They haven't got channels. What they'll have to do, they'll have to put a comment. I'll explain more next time. And then the third one is for the people overseas, YouTube channels, or watchers, you know? So we'll separate it up. So, obviously, turtle not included, but I'll send you the mug. You know it. So, yeah. Last, but not least, because I do like this game. Now, I've got the second one. Let's smell, see what it smells like. Well, it does. It smells like burning rubber and bum holes. Hmm. Any ideas? 
That is Lotus Turbo Challenge. Yeah, I've got him too. I think that's Rex, is it? Or Lotus Chalice Challenge Rex. Something like that, but it's still a good price, that. And yeah, it has got a few flaws, but it is a really good game. So it's well worth money still, that, you know? So absolutely buzzing. So yeah, that's it, people. Any YouTube channels that are in the UK, share my video, you get a chance to win a mug. And then next time, it is the viewers. Take care, people. Keep safe, keep sexy. Do you? Motherfucking one love. Peace.